G'day Chief, welcome to the Inner Chief Podcast and this special episode which we call The Mini Chief. These are short, sharp highlights from our fabulous CEO guests where you get a 5 to 10 minute snapshot of the highlights from their episode. Right Chief, without further ado, here is The Mini Chief episode for this week, CEO and co-founder of Striding, Maria Halas. Okay, Maria, uh, let's talk health and longevity. Uh, this is a, a passion of yours. Um, what What is the science telling us now about the factors that drive long-term health? Uh, and, and by that, I mean, um, what are maybe some of the, um, the markers that we all need to be paying attention to? And maybe on the back of that, how do we, how do we turn the dial on some of those? So, well, in, that's a very um, big question. The North, sorry, I was trying to, we'll try and cut it down a bit. Uh, so let's start with what? Are, what are some of the markers that we all need to be paying attention to? So can I just go back one step, as sure. you say? Um, the biggest uh, scientific, um, you know, thesis right now, and it's still in debate, but I truly believe that age can be reversed. Mm. We saw that in in uh, different organisms. We haven't seen it in people yet, but we have seen it, and I believe that in my lifetime. They may, we may have an opportunity or the opportunity to reverse aging. In the, in the interim, I think we can maximize our potential years so long as we remain healthy. Mm. And, and I think that's the critical thing. You know, there's no point living to 120 if you're miserable and, and you know, the mm. last 20 years you spend in hospital. So what do we need to do for that I mean, the three biggest killers are heart disease, um, cancer, and dementia. So chances are that you know one of one of those will hit us. You know that's just you know life. And so, what can we do to prevent that? By far, the you know taking away the um, you know smoking and and let's say you don't over drink alcohol. I mean, ideally, you wouldn't drink any. But if you have to drink, maybe drink a couple of drinks a week or something. But let's say this is this is kind of happening for you. The biggest bang for your buck would be exercise. Exercise has an impact on uh, all of those things. I am, exercise has an impact on cardiovascular health. Exercise has an impact on you know certain cancers. Not as close. The relationship is not as close. It's it's a bit more tedious to explain, but certainly it has a a, a gen, ginormous impact on um, dementia. So exercise, number one. Um, number two is your lipids. And I would say, when I say lipids, I think we are slightly misled by current med medical practice where we're looking at LDL or HDL, you know, good cholesterol, bad cholesterol. I think it astonishes me that the science is completely clear that what we need to look at is ApoB, apolipoprotein B, which carries both all the all types of bad cholesterol, not just LDL, but the, you know um, uh, medium density, low density uh, um, lipoprotein. So it's ApoB that we apolipoprotein B that we need to measure, and you still have to pay separately for that because Medicare doesn't cover this. It's astonishing. It's astonishing how behind we are in our practice with what, what science says to us. The um, the other thing that we need to see, and we only, only need to measure that once, we don't need to regularly measure that, is LP little a, and that is an inherited factor in terms of how your, about your lipids and, and what you have, how exposed you are to, to atherosclerosis or cardiovascular disease. Uh, but, you know, dementia is also vascular disease, so when, you, when I'm talking about lipids, it also affects mm. your dementia uh, chances. In addition to the ApoE4, you know, gene, which is obviously if you've got two of those genes, then, you know, you've got up to 12 times the risk of um, Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's disease. So those are the things that I think we need to monitor. Mm -hmm. I truly believe that what you can measure, you can change. That's right. And I, I definitely live by it. I, I measure my parameters regularly. So, yeah. How do you measure those? What's your method? So I go Apple B once a month. At the moment, I started statins because I personally have a familiar hypercholesteremia. Mm -hmm. So, and um, 
I had really poor advice from for many many years from cardiologists saying, "Oh, you're a borderline; you don't need to treat it." But actually, recently I had a, a calcium score test, um, a CT angiogram, which showed that I've got actually a four score, which is not zero. You really ideally should have zero, mm -hmm. and so so I already have cardiovascular type damage, you know, that, that, mm -hmm. in my structure. So. You know, I need to do something about it. And I went back to my uh, GP. I said, oh, could you please prescribe statins? And she almost fell off the chair. She said, most people that I have to prescribe statins trying to resist it. They think that they're suddenly be considered old. But there's nothing wrong with using medication to keep your markers at the mm. healthy. Yeah. Um, so I think probably the key, the key message is, speak to a health professional that probably specializes in anti-aging uh, to get some of your tests done to know what the actual situation is for you. It's a very personal test. Uh, my, my basic understanding is you've got your genetic makeup and then all the life factors that go over the top of that, right, to, to give us your current state of where you are now. Um, uh, what about um, wearables and uh Things like heart rate, resting heart rate, VO2 max, um, other factors like grip strength, uh, I know is uh, they're saying is very important these days. What, what's your take on those? Oh, I love it. wearables. I'm obsessed with wearables. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my aura ring. You got your aura ring. Yeah, yeah, I've got this one. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wear my um, Apple Watch. I mean, I, mm. you know, sleep is so important. So my yeah. aura ring. Is, is keeping track and a lot of people get obsessed and actually get their sleep gets disturbed because they're watching it too closely i'm not one of those people i'm, I'm yeah, yeah. i kind of try to do what, what i need to do you know i do my sauna in the evening and i you know try not to eat late and i do all yeah. those things but, you know so but I, I love wearables i think um they have completely transformed my life I'm, I mean, and, and of course, we just we just said, you know, if you don't measure it, you can't change it. Yes, I right. actually completely changed my sleeping pattern after I started. And I was one of, one of the early adopters. I just looked at my membership with Aura and it goes back mm. to 2020. So I've had now three year kind of almost yes. three years of, of views. So I completely changed my sleeping pattern, mm. which actually changed my life. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I find I watch my resting heart rate um, a lot. And it varies, varies about uh, about seven beats per minute is the range that it goes from high and low. And not, now I can see exactly what turns the dial. Like it, it's really clear to me, you know, a bit of bad eating, a um, uh, bit of alcohol, uh, coffee late in the day. Uh, and it just immediately shifts. And that, if there's no, no meditation, as I found meditation helps uh, an enormous amount. Meditation late in the day. Yeah, um, absolutely. I mean, all those all those wonderful things that we can yeah. do mm. that we don't need to go to the doctors for, you know. No, it's a free hit. It's simple. It's really easy stuff, right? Yeah. How does this impact your leadership? Look, I get a lot of flack for saying that I think if you can't look after your body, how can you look after a company? Mm. And people say, well, you're fat shaming people. Well, I'm not fat shaming people, but you need to be healthy to be a good leader. Mm. And um, in my in my company, I always give people the, the opportunity to become healthy yeah. by giving them the right um, books and mm. um, them to do the right training. So um, I totally believe 100% yeah. that unless you're healthy, you can't be a good leader. Mm. Mm. Okay, Maria, we're getting towards the end here. Um, actually, before we go, though, do you have any any other um, comments or advice or wisdom uh, around health and longevity? Um, just to sum it up, sleep seven or eight hours, you know, and do your exercise and do it every day. And, you know, when I say exercise, it's, you know, obviously aerobic, strength, mm -hmm. and balance. All of it is important. I need to kind of well, but diet is, you know, there's no one diet that, that will work. So, and then the last thing, which I, I again got it late in life and that is supplement. There are mm. certain our bodies are just not capable after, after you hit a certain age, you do need to supplement certain things and don't worry about it. Yeah. People say, oh, you have to take this and you have to take it. No, don't worry. The most important thing, you measure your markers and they're all good. Then yeah. you're going to have a 
a good chance of having a, your last decade a healthy one. Mm. Do you have any generic supplements you recommend for everybody or do you say get your markers and then pick your supplements? Look, they say, and, and a scientific literature um, shows that um, almost all of us require a vitamin D, K2 supplementation. Um, um, and the other one is um, omega-3. That, mm -hmm. So those are the two that, um, according to the literature, according to studies, most people would require. So I don't, um, you know, compromise on those. And then in addition to that, I personally also take um, other stuff as well. In, you know, obviously I'm taking statins, which is a medication, but that's the only medication I take. And oh, sorry, estradiol as well. And um, but you know, otherwise I I swap around my my uh, supplements uh, depending on you know season or what I think the markers are saying. Right, Chief. Well, sum it up there for the Mini Chief episode for this week. All the links and resources for the full episode can be found at chiefmaker.com forward slash 284. And if you'd like to stay in touch and hear all about some of the best resources you can find anywhere in the world to improve your performance at work, go to chiefmaker.com forward slash subscribe. Now, Chief, do you want to go on a journey where your leadership shifts from being intuitive to being practical, systemized, and inspiring. That is way one of our students has described the Mini MBA, a transformational program where we work with you on your business to systemize the way you lead and to get the results. So much so that I guarantee results. If you're not happy with the program, I'll give you 100% of your money back. In fact, the NPS for the program is over 91. That absolutely, to be honest, it belts in opposition. I think the best in the market would need to be just over seven. So we are absolutely leading the game in a program that matches the most cutting edge material in the market with cutting edge coaching skills. And that is where so much of the other programs in the market fall over. They can't do both. They're not bad at coaching. They're not bad at materials. We're the best at both. All right, Chief, if you want to get involved, check out chiefmaker.com forward slash mini MBA. Right, Chief, as always, remember.